Hey everybody, this is Linda with Hands That Cook, and I'm back over at my best friend Barbara's house, and she's going to make this stuff that her son, who's now an adult, a grown man, he always just calls it the green stuff. Now, I have never had this, and, and I've never heard of it, but maybe when she makes it, you all will recognize it, but uh, her family just loves it. So, let me take this down and show you the ingredients. What you got, Barbara? Two cans of cream. Two cans of carnation evaporated milk. Two cans of, one can of sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. One large can of uh, pineapple, crushed pineapple mm -hmm. in heavy juice. Two blocks of cream cheese mm -hmm. and one box of lime jello and a bag of mini marshmallows and mayonnaise and then we Shop have the nuts. nuts. <laughs> this jello is the three ounce size. Makes four half cup servings. Alright, so she's going to get started because she knows all about this and I don't. So I'm going to put this back on the pedestal and she'll get started. Okay, Barbie, what you going to do? First of all, I'm going to pour the cream, the evaporated milk, in a double boiler. And she's and you got will, it going. I've got it, it going. And you will have to stop every now and then and add more water because it takes quite a while for this to thicken just like you want it. Come on out of there, bigger. So that's one pan. She's opening the second can. Well, what a good idea is that? Well, um, <laughs> you can make a bigger opening with your um, can opener because of that little blunt end on the side. That's what that's for. All right, there's those two. And you can just put the cream cheese in there whole if you want to, or you can cut it up if you want to. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it's the room temperature. And uh, it's two blocks, two eight ounce blocks. Is that eight ounces? Yeah, eight ounces. Two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese is going to go in there, and I'll just cut it, cut it up in pieces. It'll, you, know, you know, move around better. All right, listen, y'all. When she gets that cut up and put in there, I'm going to bring you back so you don't have to wait. She's got her cream cheese in there, and she's got this um, double boiler on high, so don't you need to turn that down to a simmer? She said no. So, it stays on high. It takes a lot to melt the cream cheese good. And then the, the sweetened condensed milk is going, going in, in there. there. Mm -hmm. And then we just let it go for a while until that cooks up into a creamy part. And then I'll put the marshmallows in and uh, let this cool a little bit. You have to let this cool after you put the marshmallows in it. You got to wait till all of these, the cream cheese melts and all of that. And then I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, she has got this cream cheese all smoothed out and she just about whisked Constantly. It'll lump if you don't. She said it'll lump if you don't. Now she's getting ready to put in all of those. Mm -mm, half a bag of marshmallows. What, what ounce bag is that? This is, let's see, 10 ounces. So you use about 5 ounces of the marshmallows. To Mini marshmallows. Mini, Mini marshmallows. All right, Barbara. Does this stir too? Yeah, you have to stir this and it all blends in together. It'll melt. And then after that, we have to set this in the refrigerator for a while till it starts um, hardening a little bit. And we bring it out. We put our mayonnaise, I mean our Jello, which is just one package of Jello and a cup of hot water and six ice cubes. You just make it like you do regular Jello and let it semi gel. Well, that's enough information. Okay. So you show them what. Okay. What you're doing. Okay, she's going to get these totally melted, right? Uh huh. And then she's going to put it in the refrigerator, and then we'll be back again. 
Okay, we're back, and what you saw her mixing up in the double boiler has been in the refrigerator until it's totally cool. Remember that. So now we're going to the next part of the recipe. So she's got a big old bowl right here. Should I move back? Yeah. That's as far as it'll go. Okay. All right. She's going to pour that cream cheese mixture. It's like a pudding. And what else? When it, whatever else was in there, it's all going in this big bowl. And you see, it's kind of halfway set. Yeah, she said it's like a pudding. We went to eat lunch while this got cool. <laughs> <laughs> and that place was so busy, we had to wait 45 minutes for our food. We finally said, can you bring us some butter and biscuits or something? <laughs> and they did. All right. Now, this is the new part. This is the one package of lime jello that you just put what in? One cup of boiling water to dissolve the jello and then six ice cubes to cool it down. And you really don't care if it's really all the way cool or not. I just want it cool. All right. There it goes. Because it's going to set up again with this mixture. Have you ever, anybody out there, if you <laughs> have heard of this stuff, let me know. She tells me about it and she's been making it for years. 45 years. And uh, her, her oldest son, he loves it. She makes extra for him <laughs> so he can take it home. But I have never seen anything made like this. But I tasted that white stuff, and it's delicious. All right, so that one four-serving pack of <clears throat> Jello goes in there with one cup of boiling water and six ice cubes to kind of hurry it along. And she's mixing all that together. Just set it in the refrigerator and let it cool. Oh, again? No, not now. Not now. What? A, well, don't tell them that. The Jello. Oh, oh, let the jello cool. Just cool it. It don't All have right. to be thick. Just and what size is that? 18 ounces? What is this? This is a eight, a 20 ounce can of crushed, crushed pineapple, pineapple in syrup. In syrup. It's not in its own juice. And you put the juice and all in there. Right. There it goes. Mm. Okay. One cup of mayonnaise. Not, and that's not Miracle Whip, it's a regular no. mayonnaise. One cup. That cuts the sweetness. How many nuts do you think that is? Almost two cups. Almost two cups of chopped pecans, but not chopped real fine. They're coarse chopped. Yeah, coarse chopped. Now, we're going to pour this up in a bowl, let it set up again just a little bit, and then we'll put the nuts in it. Nuts. Are, nuts oh, so they nice. won't all float to the bottom. Right. So this is going to be poured into whatever you're going to serve it in. Right. And uh, it's going to congeal most of the way. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to put the nuts in it, bring it out of the refrigerator, put the nuts in it, stir it again. Th then pour it up and that's it. Yeah, then uh, put it back in the fridge till it's gelled. Is that right? That's right. We'll bring, we'll bring you back. Hey guys, we're on the last leg of this. Now this has been back in the refrigerator till it's it's still jiggly, but it's not set. And th that's when you put the nuts in. So she's going to go ahead and do that. This makes a whole bunch. You could divide this up into three dishes and <laughs> have some another time. I see the nuts won't just drop, fall to the bottom. And then... <clears throat> Hold them in. Yeah, and then she's going to put it in the container she wants to serve it in. 
and put it back in the refrigerator until it it gels, doesn't it? Like a jello. We like that. Well, it's not as thick as jello, but it's uh, it's really nice and thick. It's not thicker than this. Oh yeah. So we're almost there, everybody. Hold it a minute. Oh, she's got. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa! I almost lost my recorder. Tripod. Where do you want me to put it? But it down here, there. look mm -hmm. at this beautiful bowl. This is what part of it is years. going in. Mm, zip, zip, zip. All right. Spatula. Move it. Oh. Yeah, give me the spatula. A spatula. <laughs> right. You're not going to fill it to the very top. No, no, no. Wipe that off the edges so it don't drip. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, that's it. For my my son to take home. <laughs> okay, and this is well. They're both going back in the fridge. She'll put that what's left in the other bowl in something else to to. Uh, and it's finished. Yeah. How about that? I'm gonna give it a taste on this spatula here. Mmm. Oh, y'all, it's so good. Mayonnaise gives it a a distinct flavor. Oh, it's delicious. It cuts down some of the sweetness. Mm-hmm. And it's just good in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is. It's very good. I've never heard of anything like it. And all she's ever called it is green stuff. So that'll be the title of this video. So, let me get a... Oh, I want to... Okay. I, I'm done. We're done for the day, aren't we, Barbie? Uh-huh, sure. Are. That's just got to go back in the refrigerator. This needs to be done the day before you're going to serve it. Because of the times you have to put it in the refrigerator and then take it out and add something else. And <coughs> so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> you won't see me again before Christmas. So, I'm telling all of you, all my new subs and old subs, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And from Barbara... Merry Christmas. So, um, thank you for watching. I, I always appreciate it when you tune in. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that subscribe button. And be sure and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, until next time, you all take care and God bless every one of you. Have a wonderful Christmas and New Year.